Beauty Plates 101 and I'm here today with my bestest friend ever, Kendra. And you might be wondering why, we're, why we are matching, but um, we actually just came from doing the, my coach, my cheer coach's sister's wedding makeup, but we did all the <laughs> bridesmaids makeup and it was so fun and we had a blast. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so we decided to dress alike in our NYX shirts because we used our little NYX caddy and um, to look profesh. And it was really fun. And um, so today we are here with a question and answers video. And I asked you guys an hour or two ago on Twitter to ask us some questions with the hashtag AskSarah. And that's what you did. And we are going to go through a couple of them. And if you're not following me on Twitter already, um, my link's always in the down bar. And it is just Beauty Place 101. Let's get started. So Jillian says, what is your favorite song at the moment? And um, what, was, what would yours be? Probably the acoustic version of Latch. Like we were just singing that. Yeah. Mine would probably be Take Me to Church. Yeah. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your life. The next question is from Jess and she said, what's the favorite thing you did this summer? Well, we actually went to Hilton Head together with Sarah's boyfriend Connor and then our friend Jack and that was a really, really yeah, fun it was, trip. It was probably the highlight of my summer. Yeah, it was really that was fun. one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Um, uh, the next question is, what are you most excited about for the school year? And we actually started school a week and a half ago. But, um, yeah, the thing I'm most excited about, though, is probably the musical that's coming up in the fall. And this year we're doing Guys and Dolls. And um, I always see the makeup for the musicals, but I might try out this year. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, and then I'm in theater, too. Like, I was in the musical last year that Sarah did makeup for. And we just had so much fun doing those. Yeah, yeah. You, sometimes we stay at school from literally, like, 7 a.m. we get there for um, this like med show show we're in and then we stay until like 10, 10 30 at night. Yeah. yeah and it's just okay you think it's like sucks like you're at school for so long but it's a lot of fun when you like basically bring sleeping bags but not really <laughs> but, like we should because we like basically just stay at school yeah for, and like, our entire and friend group is involved with the yeah. musical and are all like choir people too so we just have a lot of fun it's just spending the whole day with our friends doing something we all love so it's really fun yeah yeah um next question is from ashley and she said who is your favorite youtuber and why and my favorite youtuber is hello katie xo that's mine too and why it because i just really like her style of videos and just like everything she's she's really inspirational she's with so like inspirational her talking videos. She, yeah she's so perfect she's so like sophisticated and like she's still like professional kind of about her videos and it makes um, i don't she's, know i really she's like really her. good at editing yeah she's amazing and i met her one time i was too scared to talk to her oh. bridget asked would you rather never listen to music or never drink Starbucks? Never drink Starbucks again because yeah. music's my life. Oh yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love Starbucks, but I could go without it. And over it's music. a lot of calories. You don't need that. Except for on the days where we do stay at school from 7 a.m. <laughs> to 10:30 p.m., I have to get Starbucks before. Or yeah, that's a necessity. Yeah, or I will not make it. Coffee. Coffee. So next question <laughs> is from Chloe, and she says, "How old are you when you had your first kiss?" And Ock first kiss story. Love you. I love you too. This is actually pretty interesting because we were both late bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> we both just had our first kiss like this past year, so we were both 16. Yeah, I was yeah. 16 years old. I was a junior in high school, which is like rare. Most people have their first kisses in like I mean, middle it's not, school. It's not like bad to not no. have your first kiss by then. I'm glad I waited to have my first kiss. Yeah, it's just so many I people liked. like do when they're like 10. Yeah. Like awkwardly. I could so. like, I could have like, I was like, I remember I used to like in middle school would be like, I just want to get my first kiss over with. I'm going to go to King's Island and like <laughs> just kiss someone. And I never did obviously, but like I'm really glad that like I didn't like I need to kiss someone right now, you know? Like, but I just kind of waited, and um, so how old were we? We were like 16. Um, I have an awkward first kiss story, but I don't think Kendra's does not. No. But we all both share our stories. So my story was that um, it was actually my first kiss was with my boyfriend Connor right now. And uh, the, another question you guys asked is if I'm still dating Connor, and yes, I am. So um, that's kind of two in one question. But we went on dates a lot before, but this was like our first like official date, like. Like, he asked me, like, to go on a date with him. And, like, um, we always hung out before, but not really he went on a date. So we went to, like, P.F. Chang's, and we, like, went and, like, uh, watched a movie. And then, so I was, like, in his basement, and I was, like, turned around. 
And then he like went into that really cute thing where he like turned me around and then kissed me, but like <laughs> it didn't really work. It like he like we like kissed, but it was like on the side, and he was like, oh no, we have to redo it. So we literally redid it, and he made me turn around, and he did it, and then it was the perfect first kiss ever. And like I know that was like an awkward first kiss, so it was like such a cute little blooper. Like I don't know, it's like it's literally like a blooper. Like oh my god, we it's have to redo story. that one. So we have to like we like turned around and kissed, and it was really cute. And it's in Connor's basement, which is actually where Kendra got her first kiss too. <laughs> yeah. But now with Connor. <laughs> okay, so my first kiss was just also with my first boyfriend. We were hanging out with Sarah and Connor, and then they like left the room and yeah, I think we were going to like make cookies or something. I don't even know. You guys, yeah, you guys just like left the room and then and then yeah, I think yeah, we, was watching, we were watching a movie. Yeah, that, we were like, watching we, a movie that we already watched. So we were like, oh, you want some cookies? And they were like, sure, something. And then so we like went upstairs and then they were still watching it and then he kissed her. Yeah. So I think it's pretty cool that we're like best friends and then we got our first kiss in the <laughs> same room. <laughs> we always tell that story. Yeah, with our first boys. Okay, Bridget asks, another Bridget asks, what's your favorite Starbucks drink? My favorite Starbucks drink is a caramel frappuccino. Me too. And it's actually bad how much I drink them. I just really like the cake pops, I don't know. Yeah, the cake pops are pretty good too. And then in the winter, like I like that for like summer, spring, fall. <laughs> but in the winter, I like, uh, sometimes I have the pumpkin spice latte, but I always get the salted caramel for, um, mocha. And then, I don't know, I'm hoping to try more stuff this year, because I don't like, like, <laughs> This sounds so white, girl, but I'm only <laughs> drinking coffee from Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really, I want to try some new stuff. Yeah, I really year. like in the winter, it's, I think it's called like the gingerbread latte. Yeah. I might be making that up. Yeah, I think there's something like that. Yeah. They always have I those like, like specials during the winter that I really like. Kaylee says, would you ever consider dyeing your hair brown? Just wondering. <laughs> just wondering. I just can't imagine it. And I mean, I guess it's like linked towards me. But yes, I have. And I like always ask people's opinion. Like, what would you think if I dye my hair brown? And He's everyone's like, like yeah, I like wish I had the balls to do it. But obviously this is my natural like blonde hair. And like it's really hard for people to get natural hair like this. Yeah, so I, yes, I have considered it. But I'm not probably going to do it anytime soon. I will when I'm older because my mom, every blonde hair like fades when they're older. But um, my mom dyes it blonder. But I'll probably dye it, dye it um, brunette when I'm older because I don't like the look of fake blonde. I, it's just my personal preference. Plus, my hair's really thin, so fake blonde would look really, um, like, yeah, you know, like, fried almost. I don't know. So, yeah. Savannah asked, how long have you and Kendra been friends? And she said, by the way, I'm Aww. Uh, Sarah and I met a year ago, actually, in choir class. We sat next to each other, and we, like, immediately became close. Yeah, like, like right away. I was, I was actually the next face towards the whole first week of school, um, in L.A., so I came into school like a week late and I was so nervous to like go into all my classes like what if there was no spots for me and Kendra like I we were in the class before but we never talked to each other yeah like we sat like like we Sarah's sat in the same behind section, me, but we never like, talked yeah which is weird but so the first day of school she's like I saved a seat right here and I was like bless and then bless. We, I'm the type of person that you can like whenever you talk to me we, I act like we've known each other for like ever so, like I just like talked to yeah, everyone we immediately like the same came close yeah so we met a year ago today. A year ago. A year, a year ago, ago today. A year ago, the first day of school. Kyra says, what is your favorite band? My favorite band would have to be the 1975, probably. Um, my favorite band, it's either One Republic or Parachute. Our friend Ryan said, why didn't you put me in your video, Sarah? Why do you hate me? You are in my video. I love you. Ryan, I love you. My friend Patty said, <laughs> if you had to pick between setting Kendra on fire or pushing Kendra off the Eiffel Tower, which would you choose? No brainer, it would be the Eiffel Tower because I've always wanted to go to the Eiffel Tower and like it would be a trip and I would be able to push Kendra off the top of it. So it would be illegal because you can't even drop a penny off the Eiffel Tower, but uh, you know, I wouldn't die. No, I'd be fine. Yeah, like it'd be fun. Yeah. Our friend Trey said, why are you guys so gross? Jessica says, how tall are you guys? I am 5'9". And I'm 5'2". <laughs> um, Haley asks, worst part of your freshman year? Freshman year, I really liked freshman year, but I actually didn't go to like the same school I go to now. I went to a private school just for freshman year. Um, so I guess the worst part was going to a school of all girls that I'd never met before. I was really shy and really nervous. So yeah, that was probably my worst part of freshman year. The worst part of my freshman year, <laughs> Is this me like the worst day? Like, can I say like, okay, oh, the worst part? The story. Yeah. Okay, I'll. <laughs> I might make a separate video for this, like talking about hate. 
Um, but I, I've, I've never gotten too much hate about my YouTube in person, like ever. And I'm really thankful for that. The people were so accepting of like what I do on YouTube. And I really over overreacted on one day freshman year when I was just starting a YouTube. Like I started my YouTube eighth grade, like end of eighth grade, like summer. And so um, I didn't know what people would say about my YouTube if they found. I didn't know if people would find out or like what they would say. And then one day, one of my brother's friends told my teacher, um, like one of my my social studies teacher, that I made videos. And he was like, nah, -uh. so they put my video like up on the 3M and it was the worst day of my life. Like I put my head down because like I was just really embarrassed. They watched my first video ever, which is like really embarrassing at the time, which now I love going back and laughing at it. But like, I just like wasn't ready to tell people yet, I guess. And like, I, I didn't only told a couple of my closest friends and I guess my brother told his friends who um, told the teacher, but then like, people were like laughing, but like along with, like I should have been laughing with them because it was like funny. But I was just like embarrassed, so I like put my head down and then I like kind of like teared, started tearing up. But I am so thankful I got through that day and didn't like, didn't go home and delete my YouTube. That would have been the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, people at school now lo like love my YouTube videos and yeah, everyone thinks it's really cool. yeah, and everyone like asks me about it. And it's a really good way to make friends. Like if you, if you just bring up your YouTube channel, so that was probably like the worst thing that's ever happened to me freshman year. But it's also the best thing. That happened to me because I got through it. And I, I, if you want me to explain more about that in my in another video, then I'll totally do that because it's like it touches me in the heart. Gloria <laughs> said, "Can you ride a penny board? And if so, when did you learn?" I used to have a penny board, and I don't know what happened to it. But I actually just bought another penny board recently, and I would show you it's in my car. But um, it's awesome. It's like marble, and uh, I'll put a link to it in the down bar if I remember because it's awesome. Awesome. I'm really excited. And I kind of just learned from riding, and I always rode my brother's skateboards when we were little, and we would play in the cul-de-sac and stuff. So do you? Um. Yes, I'm a professional penny boarder. Prefer razor scooters. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Wait, before I leave, I was gonna tell you guys that I am selling duct tape wallets again. You guys might be like, what the heck, Sarah? You're 17 years old. Why are you selling duct tape wallets? It, I, they're honestly just really fun to make. And um, I'll, I have so many new colors and stuff, and I will um, have a link in the down bar where you can buy one. And I'll, I write all of you guys a handwritten note, and I can subscribe to you on YouTube if you'd like. If I tell you guys how to do that on on the note, and um, it's really fun, and I really like um, talking to you guys and like giving you any duct tape wallet you want, and um, it's a lot of fun. And some people ask even if I can sign it, and I'm like, of course I can do that. I like write my little signature. It's really cool, and um, I use my duct tape wallets a lot as well. So, um, if you want to learn more about that, I'll have my beautifulies101.com down below, and um, you can look on that. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up or comment down below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. so much for watching my videos and um, you're so sweet and your brother is awesome as well so yeah thanks